Hello, Thompson Harris. I hope you've been enjoying your Founders Day. <laughs> um, I'm going to take off this mask now. Um, don't worry, I'm fully vaccinated. Today, I'd like to introduce the man himself, Townsend Harris. Born in 1804, Townsend Harris grew up in a poor family, having to leave school at age 13 to help with his family's porcelain business. However, over time, he became increasingly interested in politics and civil service. He soon became the president of the New York City Board of Education in 1846. As a firm believer in free education for all, he famously stated in a letter in 1847, Make them the property of the people. Open the doors to all. Let the children of the rich and the poor take their seats together and know of no distinction save that of industry, good conduct, and intellect. Upon leaving his post in the DOE in 1848, Harris made voyages to China and the East Indies, beginning his fascination with Asia. He soon joined the U.S.'s efforts to open Japan to trade in 1855, traveling through Europe, Northern Africa, Southeast Asia, and China, and finally, Japan. Harris lived in Japan for almost six years. When reminiscing about his time there, he exclaimed, I look back fondly on my days in Shimoda. The Japanese are a fine race of men, genial in their temper and clean in their persons and houses. They are truly the French of Asia. I recall the people's appreciation of their own culture and the nature surrounding them, much different from the streets of New York. How I miss it so. <laughs> Original Townsend Harris High School was established in 1904 as an all-boys school, but closed in 1942. It was re-established in 1984 through the efforts of Dr. Malcolm Largman and many others who helped develop the school into what it is today, as a school for people of all economic backgrounds, ethnicities, and for all genders. Let's take a peek at what Townsend Harris High School looks like today. I'm gonna 